Hey guys, it's Nathan with Trailhead Design Co. And today I'm going to be walking you through a tutorial using the Ultimate Canvas Creator. This is a collection of 40 surface textures for Photoshop, Procreate, and Affinity apps. To show you how versatile this set is, we're going to be taking a watercolor painting and getting multiple looks from one texture file. Here's how to do it. I've got my canvases divided into paint media, wet media, and dry media. Since this is watercolor, we're going to be looking at the wet media set. So all my papers are here, and I've got a few pieces of sample art here. We're going to be taking this horse painting, and it's already flattened onto one layer. So I'm going to select it, copy it, and I'm going to paste it into the old vintage paper. But before I do that, I want to duplicate it so I preserve a clean copy. I'm going to find the paint here layer, swipe, paste it there. Okay, right away I noticed that my painting is a little bit too small for my paper. So I'm going to resize the paper to fit the painting. To do that, we'll need to unlock all of the textures. Close that. Select the layer group. Now we can resize. And if you put your finger down, it will it will stay in uh, proportion. Okay. Now we need to resize the canvas. Okay, now my paper texture and my painting are both to scale. Okay, now we're going to apply a mask effect to the painting layer. To do that, tap the painting thumbnail and select mask. Okay, with the layer mask selected, we're going to add and insert a file. I've navigated to my mask folder. I'm gonna choose alcohol drops. In this case, the effect is pretty subtle. So what we're gonna do with the layer mask selected, I'm going to go to hue and saturation. I'm gonna select layer, and then I'm going to adjust the brightness. And you can see that take effect. The saturation will also have a little bit of effect. So in the alcohol drops, you can see some of, and especially in the darker areas, you can see some of the, um, the alcohol drops adding transparency to the painting. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. You can see the change. Okay, from here, I also want to add a bit of uh, tone to my paper. So I'm gonna choose a background color. And when we do that, we can see um, a lot of the paint effects that are on the paper. I'm going to choose a really warm uh, light gray. Okay, I think that works pretty good. Okay, one more adjustment that I would like to make to get the painting to blend into the background a little more uh, would be to take the saturation down um, on the paint layer. I go to hue saturation layer and I'm just going to take the saturation down just a bit just to help it blend okay I think that I'm going to call that look number one let's duplicate it now let's try something different okay let's change our background back to white and let's remove that layer mask and I'm gonna add a new layer underneath the artwork let's see if we can add to the painting a little bit with some finishing brushes so I'm in the uh, wet media brushes and I'm going to choose a wash or two you want to make sure that the scale of the brush is large and that the opacity is 
somewhere in the middle or lower. And I'm going to sample the sort of brown color in the horse's face and just see, that's pretty cool. Also want to sample this blue. Let's choose another one. Again, large scale, lower opacity. Scale it down a little bit. That's pretty good. I'm gonna go back to the red. Or actually, let's keep the blue. It's pretty good. I'm gonna go back to the red again or the brown. Take a smudge brush. You kind of like that purple. Lower opacity. Okay, now let's add an edge mask. I'm gonna merge these two layers, add a mask. This time I'm gonna choose this runs mask here to look like water. And once again, I'm going to adjust the uh, brightness. Okay, and as a last step, I'm going to add a few splatters. Back in the wet media brush set, take a few splatters here, scale them up. Add some of those purple ones. Erase them back just a little bit. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So here are our two different looks, very different, and they're both created from the same paper. Um, so as you can see, we go here, more of a, of a solid wash, a solid tone. And then we go to look number two. You can see more of the paper, more, this is a little bit brighter, a little bit more splattery. I just, I really love this look. Guys, I hope this gives you an idea of just how versatile this set can be. We created these two looks very quickly with just one paper texture, and the set includes 40. I've found that the hardest part is choosing which one to use.